Good afternoon. Buenas tardes. Thank you all for joining us on this special day today. Gracias a todos por acompañarnos hoy en este día tan especial. Today we come together to remember and honor the legacy and commitment of social justice that Cesar Chavez fought for. Before I get into, the, into uh, what I have to say today, I do want to make sure that I give some remarks uh, of who, uh, and acknowledge who is here today. So if I say your name, uh, please go ahead and stand if you wish to do so. So uh, Suzanne Villarus, school board member, as well as Arnold Morrison. <laughs> Councilman Mario Nunez, City of Delano. Councilwoman Liz Morris, City of Delano. Angel Moreno with Attorney General Rob Bonta's office. Thank you so much for being here. Abigail Solis with uh, Governor Newsom. And Jeanette with uh, Senator Hurtado's office. And uh, I would also like to give one last acknowledgement um, uh, to also Supervisor Perez. And also, uh, not elected officials, of course, but I think it's important to my family. So, uh, mom, dad, oh. <laughs> Because we understand that when we succeed in life, when we do what we do, we don't do it alone, right? We have someone there supporting us, guiding us, mentoring us. So it's important to acknowledge yeah. our elders. So, most of you know but for those who are unaware, our city of Delano is the birthplace of the farm worker labor movement. Can we take that in for a second? We are living in a community where history was made, where the Si Se Puede philosophy was born. Cesar Chavez left a mark in our community of Delano, but he didn't do it alone. He was a bridge builder working alongside Dolores Huerta, Larry Ibsong, and Philip Veracruz. Today we are doing three things here. We are celebrating the life of an American hero who changed the world. We are honoring and spotlighting several public servants who are continuing the legacy of Cesar Chavez today. And lastly, we are here united to ask ourselves how we can continue that same legacy of advocating and fighting for our neighbors, our community, nuestra gente. You see, Cesar Chavez led a movement focused on love and empathy for each other. He made sure that we lived up to our founding father's principles, that all men are created equal and we all have the right of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness in America. Cesar understood that change is hard and it takes time. Sometimes our progress may regress, but we must keep pushing forward. As a matter of fact, Cesar himself uh, said he spent his first 20 years working as an organizer without a single major victory, but he never gave up. He kept pushing forward. Cesar Chavez lideró un movimiento centrado en el amor y la empatía de unos por otros. Se aseguró que estuviéramos a la altura de los principios de nuestros padres fundadores, que todos los hombres uh, crea uh, son creados iguales y todos tenemos derecho a la vida, la libertad y la búsqueda de la felicidad en Estados Unidos. César entendió que el cambio es difícil y toma tiempo. A veces nuestro progreso puede retroceder Pero debemos seguir presionando. Those same principles can be applied to the work we do here in the city. If you have yet to hear or yet to see, the city of Delano is built for growth. Actually, Delano is the eighth fastest growing, growing city in the state of California, per the California Department of Finance. have accomplished so much here in our community. 
these past few years, such as providing food distributions during COVID-19, uh, welcoming in new businesses, which result in more opportunity, approving several housing developments that will provide our community with an estimate of more than 1,000 homes, prioritizing our most vulnerable, our unhoused community, and much more. But the work is not finished. Debemos avanzar unidos, trabajando juntos y construyendo puentes en nuestra comunidad. Realmente creo que todos tenemos más en común que lo que nos divide. Todos queremos lo mismo, elevar nuestra comunidad para mejorar a nuestro pueblo y a la gente de Deleno. We must move forward united. By working together and building bridges in our community, I truly believe that we all have more in common than what divides us. We all want the same thing, to uplift our community, to uplift our people of Delano. As Cesar Chavez would say, the fight is never about grapes or lettuce, it is always about the people. Si se puede. Si se puede. Si se puede. Si se puede. Thank you so much. So next, uh, we will go ahead and uh, welcome the Chavez family, Andres Chavez, to come up and say a couple words to us. Thank you, council member. Uh, just first, on behalf of the Chavez family, the Sassam Chavez Foundation, and all of us in the farm worker movement, we want to thank the city of Delano for uh, celebrating my Tata Caesar today on what would have been the 30th anniversary of his passing. Um, before I be begin, I'd also like to acknowledge a couple of family members who are here with me. Uh, you all heard from her earlier uh, doing the prayer, Natalie uh, Fragoso and her husband, Jacob. <laughs> you know, I, I think about, uh, about the progress uh, that, that, that this community has made, especially since when my Tata started here back in 1962. Uh, in 62, when my Tata and others were, were organizing, uh, they didn't have the Delano police protecting them, and here they are protecting us today. That speaks about the advancement that we've made. Yeah. Uh, not only that, uh, there's folks who have worked within our movement uh, who are now in elected uh, offices, like Supervisor Perez, and then Attorney General Banta was actually, uh, his parents were uh, volunteers with the farm worker movement, and he actually lived in La Paz at our headquarters for, for a short while. Uh, and so that just really speaks to the progress of this movement. You know, 30 years after his passing, uh, we've seen countless commemorations and celebrations uh, across the United States and in the world. And oftentimes we ask ourselves, why do we see that? Why do we see these celebrations? And I think it comes up to, to really two things. Uh, it was the example that the farm workers movement and my Tata Caesar left for us. When Filipino farm workers went out on strike on September 8, 1965, and eight days later, when the Latino organization led by my Tata Caesar Dolores joined them, it was really a, the birth of a multicultural movement that would forever change America. The multicultural movement didn't just start and end with Filipinos and Latinos, but expanded beyond that. We have five martyrs in our farm worker movement, and the first two martyrs, one was Jewish, a young Jewish woman who was in Florida, and the second uh, was a young Yemeni Muslim farm worker in, uh, out of Lamont. Uh, not only that, over 17 million people boycotted grapes uh, in the 1970s, uh, and that was folks from all walks of life, suburban house moms in the Midwest, religious groups on the East Coast, uh, folks from all walks of life coming together. And I think that's why we continue to celebrate my Tata Caesar. But most importantly uh, is to what Sal talked about. You know, uh, my Tata Caesar had more defeats than he had victories, but it was how he responded to those defeats that defined his legacy. He was somebody who only went to the eighth grade never made more than $7,000 a year, yet we're celebrating him here today. And that's because he simply never gave up. Right. When people told him uh, that he wasn't able to do it, he would respond, he said, with it. When he would get knocked down, he would get right back up. And when he saw that things were unfair, he'd work every single day to make, a little bit, to make him a little bit more fair. And so celebrations like this uh, are fitting, but in my opinion, the best way that we can honor his legacy uh, is by following that example. The example of bringing people together from all walks of life, regardless of your religion, regardless of the color of your skin, regardless of the people who you choose to love, and secondly, by never ever giving up. 
because we're all here because so many people sacrifice so much. That's right. I know I had the ability to play Little League Baseball and dream of becoming a professional baseball player because of people like Jackie Robinson. I had the opportunity to attend the schools I attended because of people like Sylvia Mendez. I went to college because of people like Sal Castro and Chicanos on the east side of LA. And I have the ability to dream big and never give up because of people like my Tata Caesar. And so I thank you all for your time today. Thank you to Councilman Soledo Ruiz for putting this together. Um, and I think in the spirit of the farm worker movement, uh, there's only one way to end this, just by saying Cisa Bueda. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Andres. Beautiful. Um,